welcome to episode Sancho Wu. It's 35, right? Sancho Wu. 35, episode 35 of Big Belly Pats. <laughs> uh, I'm Nick. We need to we need to expand huh? our language. We need to count in different languages because it's just Chinese and English. We need to <laughs> we need to like, you know, help the other how people. Do, how do you say 35 in Afrikaans? <clears throat> Afrikaans. Oh, I'm gonna get ready for this. Uh, <laughs> hold on hold on damn it have i forgotten how to count in afrikaans oh my goodness hold on afrikaans or zulu oh zulu i wouldn't know um okay. i've forgotten about this why do i know chinese so much i don't know yester don't even no, know wait once once i whoa, whoa, no i've got to check this oh my goodness oh no i'm gonna get murdered by a whole lot of south africans oh no nick how do i say yester I know number one is Easter. I'm gonna get. I'm. I'm so sorry to all my South African people. Afrikaans. Afrikaans four. Afrikaans numbers four. Dish. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Elfte, twelve, 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 thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty and one. Yeah, and twenty. I can't tell you what feet feet is for. So, feet, so it's faith, faith in thirty. Faith in thirty. I'm telling you, I'm right. Faith in thirty. Thirty three. Faith in thirty. Yes. Woo! I've got it right, baby. I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I am the I am the I am the most English South African you'll ever meet. Oh my it, it only, snap. Oh it only fake. took you a little while, but, but you, you got there. I got there. I got there without any apps. I got there. <laughs> All right. Three. Ian Twitter three four five six seven eight nine ten. I Ian and ten no no elf. The the teens are different. Oh my goodness. Ian Dacent. Two year Dacent. I know now. I know now. My Afrikaans coming back to me. Ek prati tal no. Here we go. The only Afrikaans right. I the... know is uh is poos. <laughs> it's not the way it's supposed to I think we've spoken about this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that word that Nick just said, say it. <laughs> When you are very comfortable around your South African <laughs> friends and you are in a private location, if you go up to a random South African and you say that word, expect a flying flat hand. All right. It's going to come flying at you no matter your size, no matter who you are. It will be a woman, a lady, a child. It will just hit you. All right. Do not repeat that word when you do not know the person. <laughs> Go up to someone and say, What's up, my pee? What's up, my brew? Uh -uh. No, they're going to. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, uh, oh, that's. Oh, cuck. This is cuck. This is cuck. Yeah. <laughs> cuck means this is just shit. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, All right. Oh, See, you I must have heard some. Sir, you must have heard someone say lacquer. 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 Yeah, 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 that yeah, means. Yeah. So. It's, it's, la it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it's lekker, been a while I haven't uh, been around obviously in South Africa. Many South Africans. <laughs> lekker is a weird one because it's lekker kakne. That means it's it's nice shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it can be used. Oh, this is lekker. This is nice. Or this is lekker kak, meaning it's it's really shit. So <laughs> it can. It's a nice word. It's it's a word everyone uses. Um, but yeah. <laughs> This was not supposed to be the start of episode 35. Uh, yeah, so episode 35. <laughs> uh, starting out, I have a good thing and a bad thing that I just noticed. So, mm. first, I cut my own hair. And I am proud of how I did it this time. Uh, did good lines. You know, I'm getting better at it. I noticed right here, no, right here. I have a cowlick, so I'm trying to figure out how to cut that right. Okay. You know what a cowlick is, right? Yeah. Yeah. When so it I just stands up. It's like, stand, it's basically, in so many words, a part of your hair that grows the opposite the way to the rest of your hair. Mm hmm So I have that right there. I'm working on that. Um, but I noticed I did my face, 
and my beard is badly lined. So <laughs> it's always the lighting in, in the bathroom that stuffs you. Yeah, my I'm about to fix this when I get off because that shit look terrible. <laughs> I I've been walking around all weekend like this, and nobody sees. I'm talking about nobody. White people don't tell you when you look like shit, and that's why hey. I need more Negro. <laughs> no, see, see exactly, y'all nice, y'all nice. I didn't ask for that. I didn't Wait, ask. I need somebody you know, to be like, you know, somebody to be like, yo, what, bro, what you know your stuff idiot is. is what flippin' idiot is gonna walk up to a six foot ten giant and be like, yo, well, bro, I, your face is looking weird? Bro, the average size. I, hold if, on, if, hold on. The average size of people in Wirral, the average size of people where you live, are like yeah to you. All right, I, I no. know that, but I'm saying the people that know me specifically. This weekend, <laughs> I've been with Lucy and Stace. They both neon. <sighs> so, but they're like they're so used to your face that they might not pick up a line or two that's different. My mom has been seeing this face for 33 years, and she'll pick it up in a heartbeat. Yeah, but that's mom's. That's mom's. That's mom's. <laughs> mom's so. will find an eyebrow and pick it. And you'd be like, what? Where did that come from? Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I've been doing that. Um, what else is I going to say? If you can see, I am. This is one of my screens. So I am working. Uh, He's on lunch. And well, so, No, 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 no. So that's what I was going to say. So I'm not on lunch. <laughs> <laughs> because see, they 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 know you're online by your uh, your teams thing is green, right? I, first of all, I fucking hate teams. God, I hate Microsoft teams. Teams is cool. I like teams. On teams all day. For teaching, it's good. Doo, 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 doo. But, teaching, it's good. And but I got a uh, I call it a a, a jiggalator. A jiggalator. That's my word for it. It's the little piece that you put into your key into your into your. Uh, laptop, and you press a little button and it moves your mouse around on its own so it looks like I'm online. <laughs> you know, when I, when I, the last time I worked in a damn office, the way that I told people I was in the office was I was there. I was online. Yeah. I was on in the office. At the I'm, on, I'm online and I'm working from home. Like, I'm, I'm on. And when I'm in, obviously, if, if, obviously, if I'm in the office, like I, I went to the office yesterday and I'm going tomorrow. But if I'm in the office, I don't take my jiggalator with me because they see me. I'm in the office. Yeah, you don't need to prove that you're not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I'm, if I'm, <laughs> now granted, because I have certain things to do on my at my job before twelve, and then between twelve and two is kind of a low, and then from two to five I have certain things I need to get in before five. So I make sure all my stuff is in before twelve. So I do my work. It's just when I have like a little bit of a low or I'm just chilling and I don't want to look like I'm offline, I cut my jiggalator on and my mouse jiggles. Like it's, jigg- it's jiggalating right now. It's in the corner. You probably can't see it, but it's in the corner just moving around. And uh, I'm on green on teams. I'm available, baby. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah. right. and then after this pod, I'm going to I'm gonna go on lunch. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. Episode 35, Nick reveals his secrets. <laughs> well, if you don't, don't like to- Nick, just I- send us to the company he works at. <laughs> well, so I, and I've never said the company name. Let me cut got. this screen off just in case somebody comes in and some shit. <laughs> I, I still need him to to to, to be here. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna frame him. But if someone on Big Billy Pets fans them doesn't like you, hey, but nah. God, hey, he's not nah. even working. I, I don't think you've ever seen the company name on that, but I, I cut it off. So. <laughs> And I don't have any. I don't add anybody from work, so I don't have any of them on my social. Um, so yeah, but um, uh, what else is I going to say? Uh, this is Wednesday morning, Thursday morning in the UK. Uh, just making a quick note: the U.S. election is over. Someone won. I'm not going to get into politics. We'll move on. It is what it is. Uh, it's, moving on. It's not. It's not go blue this time. Yeah, it's not. No, it is what it is. That's all I can say. Because people are going to argue to their heart's content. I will say this is not a political um, show. I will say I have deleted a lot of people that I know. I've deleted some people that you also know. So I've just said fuck it and burnt some bridges. It is what it is. Um, moving on. Uh, this, uh, this past weekend, so 
I'm going to go into before I ask you how you're doing before I take over. <laughs> this past weekend, we went to a um, a bonfire. So here it's bonfire. Well, yes, I guess yesterday was bonfire Guy night. folks not. There you go. Yeah, there you go. But they call it bonfire night. night. <laughs> but this weekend we went to a we went, we went to a bonfire. Uh, it was the same. I don't know if I spoke about it last year, but it's the same one that we went to. Me and Lucy went with her sister Jenny. Wayne yeah, and the, and the kids slipped. One of the kids slipped and got their pants yeah. on Lucy. Mason, because it was muddy, yeah. and he wanted yeah. to. He said he wanted to act like he had a football, and he slipped. And he got covered in mud, and he was pissed off. You, that's when you were telling me how kids get moody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get moody for something that they did. Nothing, nothing even do with us. <laughs> 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 like, he did it. No one touched him. No one told him to do this. He did it. He fucked it up. And then he, we all got to pay for it. So, uh, but anyways, we went this year. But it was just me, Lucy, and Stace. Uh, the kids didn't go. Uh, but it wasn't rainy. It was cool. Uh... It was cool, and I will say we – so me and Lucy play this game where if one person is looking away, you hold, we hold our finger, and when they turn around, it pokes them in the cheek. It's a little stupid little game, right? Mm -hmm. But if you turn around too fast, if someone's got long nails or something, it's going to hurt a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Lucy always got long nails. Mm -hmm. So when Lucy do it, I'll be like, okay, cool, cool. But when I do it to her, she spins her head around. She gets upset because it hurts. Mm -hmm. And now I intentionally hurt her. And now it's my fault. So she's going to hear this, but I'm I'm ready for this conversation. But yeah, so it happened at the uh, at the at the bonfire. <laughs> she she turned around. She turned back around, and it said bow. And she was upset. And I didn't apologize immediately. And I think that was the issue. But I was also like, a part of me was in my head. I was like, bro, we do this all the time. Like, when she do it to me, she won't apologize. Well, I got to apologize. So uh, we moved past it quickly. It just, I just randomly thought about it before the pod. I was like, let me just see. Cause. <laughs> Yo, you're going to. Where's that fire? You just don't smoke, don't make the fire. Come on, bro. Damn. So. Woo. So yeah. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that was my week. Outside of that, it was a great weekend. Good food, good drinks. Uh, Madrid got spanked last night. Yeah, we've been this this last week or so. We've been playing like shit. Uh, also sour, weeks, actually. Just so sour, so negative. Vinicius Ooh. Junior didn't win the Ballon d'Or. The whole of the Madrid, the the Madrid basically ran the Ballon d'Or, and then they didn't yeah. go and receive their Team of the Year award because. Rodri got the Ballon d'Or. Oh. I mean, see, it's see, here, here, here. Like, it's so, it's so like, it's just. This is. I am a football fan. I'm a diehard football fan. I flipping love this game. I love the emotions, the bad, the good, the everything about it. But this is why people hate it. This is why we can't convert those. Just those, like you know, when people are like, oh, look at how you people react. Look at soccer players. Oh, the rugby players don't do that. And I'm like, yeah, okay, but I like rugby as well. And I'm just like, just come on. Like, just be now be be adults. You guys are like children. My now with the whole Ballon d'Or thing, my argument was, and I understand both flips of the coin. One of them, because they won team of the year, they should have accepted it. They should have yeah. been there to accept team of the and year. And Colin Chalotti won coach team. of the year. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Which so I disagree with that. because Xabi Alonso should have won Coach of the Year because he went unbeaten with Bayern Lubikazen. This is true. But anyways. You know, like, what, like, what, like, like, hold on. When it comes to individual awards in a team-based sport, who cares who gets it? It's got nothing to do with the team sport. Got nothing to do with it. Absolutely zero Zilch. It's some no, randos what? selecting someone else. The players Just are always because, going to care. And I feel like if you're in that yeah, world, I know you're that. going to care about I know those that. individual ones. I like, I, I, I've, I've always been a person for the team. And like, they, when, when they, when, and it comes down to all the team sports. When a country wins 
a competition or a club wins a competition, right? And there's two players from that team that make the all best team of that competition. You know, it's nonsense. Yeah. It's just because are they recognizing individual brilliances and individual performances in a game or a season? I get that. Good for you. Great. Good job. Young player of the year. Blah, 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 blah. Goal ki- what? I mean, what's his name? Emmy Martinez for Aston Villa and Argentina. He won the Golden Glove two years ago. And he's still reaping the awards. I can't stand him. He is the worst sportsman I've ever met when it came to winning in a global event. And you give him an award, he can't even fucking keep a clean sheet at Aston Villa. That's not a goalkeeper. That's not a... What? See, that's the thing. So when I see stuff like that, I'm just like, oh. You know when Paul Nedved from Juventus won it? I think... uh, uh, Excuse me for my terrible knowledge of the stats. I think he got like 10 goals and 10 assists for the season. He beat Tenry Henry, who got like 40 goals and 20 assists that season. I remember this, yeah. Like, who who voted Paul Nett? Come on. Tenry Henry was like, he, it was off the Invincibles. Like, that's, that's, like, really? Like, when that happened, you were just was, like, yeah, well. There was a lot of it when it was the issue of, like when I think the last one, I think Messi or Ronaldo, I think the last one that Messi won, that they were like, they looked at the criteria and outside of like your current season form, a lot of your Ballon d'Or was based on like historical past achievements and you're basically your resume. And people were like, well, if that's based on your resume, the young guys are never going to win. Cause yeah. I just balled it out this year. I don't have a resume. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like it's just so. Like I get. I get all the. I get all the the nitty gritty part of it and being an athlete and being a sportsman and and working hard for all your whole life and everything like that. But don't become a football player if you want individual awards. Tennis is there. Golf is there. Ping pong is there. Swimming is there. Go for it. You've got to. I. I don't. I've never wanted. Like yeah, be a hero great and have your name plastered on the newspaper but yeah do it for those moments scoring the winning goal or something like that great man like like really personal awards and a a individual awards in a team sport just makes it's 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 recognition but it just doesn't it doesn't hold any weight in my opinion you can have mvps like oh this this team this player was an mvp of this team great recognize it but that mvp wouldn't be able to do the assist or score the goal without the person next to him. Simple as I, that. Regard. Going back to the the whole uh, Vinny thing, I the team should have went to get team of the year, coach of the year. They should have went. Yeah. I understand. Me personally, if I was in Vinny's shoes, I understand why he wouldn't go. Because if I'm being told, if I was already knew before. I get that. If it was going to be a surprise, I'm like, oh, shit. You know, I went. We didn't know who was going to win. I went, ah, oh, damn, I lost it. Cool. Congratulations, Daniel. You got it. Da, da, da. But if I was told days or a week in advance, hey, so we still want you to come, but you're not going to win it. We're going to give it to Daniel. The fuck am I coming for? Yeah. No, I can't. It's fine. Now, on the it's flip to show of it, your though, support. It's to show your support. So, to show, because yeah. you now, you as a player... You as a player right there think you're better, all right? Right. But also also you can know it. But then you show no respect to the person who actually won it. You're saying he's just crap. I don't recognize this player. Meanwhile, Rodri just won the Euros. He's won a, he's won a double with City. He's not the most beautiful player on earth. I know that. But he's the cog in an, in an incredible machine. But without him, right. it's it doesn't work. So I thought Rodri deserved to win it in the sense of like his personal accolades and his team accolades. Like how much has City dominated? A lot. They've dominated a lot. And yeah. yes, by, mind you, Real Madrid have dominated a lot. But like when was the last time a Premier League player won the damn Ballon d'Or? It's been Messi I and think... Ronaldo for 650 million years. 
They've been saying it's either been Messi or Ronaldo, or it's always someone from like La Liga or Spain yeah. or something or Portugal. No, Modric got never... it from Real Madrid. Like, really, guys, just yeah. move on. You're not, not your year. And Venice Junior is like what, 22, 23? He's got a hundred yeah, years yeah. left, man. <laughs> yeah. Like you don't win two or three more. And then I will say, speaking of Vinny, I well I watched the game when they played against uh, this past one against uh, Milan. Oh, no, 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 it was Milan. City. Sporting City got City, spanked yeah. by Sporting. Well, uh, we're gonna get spanked by Inter, so I'm gonna watch that tomorrow. But, morning. I don't know much happen. But Milan, we lost to. First of all, shout out to Milan. Rafael Leal is so fucking fast. What? Yeah, right. that is a that is a tall, fast man. <laughs> that man was moving on his side. He, I was like, he yo, glides oh. past people. He really yeah. does. It's really frustrating. So, which it's to like me, what everyone see, does to me, make, makes it, people just glide past me. Well, to me, that means. <laughs> If he does it for the rest of this season, the next season, he ain't going to be in, in Milan too much longer. Nah, Somebody's no. going to give him a check. He's going to get out of there. Um, but watching Vinny, he's one of those people that you hate. And I, and I understand the hate against him. You hate to watch him play against you. And you do like when he's on your team. But he's still also annoying when he's on your team. Um, I love the talent that he has, but watching the game last night and the bitching and moaning and every time something bad happens to the team, he goes like this. I'm like, yo, bro, like Vinny, just kick the ball, bro. See, see, that's, that will always be the difference between every other generational soccer player versus Messi and Ronaldo. That's why the, the demand that they have from themselves and the demand that they have from their teammates. And yeah, Ronaldo might be a little bit more slightly annoying than Messi, but yeah. he demanded a lot. Ronaldo didn't yeah. have the talent Messi had. Ronaldo worked a lot more. And he he had he came he was he was not in the middle of the park like Messi, he was on the outside. And the, I, and there's no debate. Like I don't care who's the best. I'm just glad that mm-hmm. I could watch both players play. So mm-hmm. there's just like there's a bit of like self respect and being humble. Like Yeah. You can't be like Haaland and shout humble when you're not being humble. That doesn't make sense. Like soccer play some soccer players today are just like, Oh, did they forget to teach you social etiquette at school? Like, did you not like learn how to say please, thank you, ma'am, thank you? Like your mom and dad gave you everything. You oh, oh. But yes, moving on. This was not really part of our schedule. I didn't say anything about the Ballon d'Or, Afrikaans, nothing on the schedule. Um, yeah, what do we have on the schedule? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Dalian on Friday. So, okay. so quite, a, quite a cool achievement. We've never had a sports tour. So we've obviously hosted a tournament, but we've never officially gone on tour as a sports Ooh. side. So yeah, you going on tour? We're going on tour, man. Two days. <laughs> we're going to go. We're going to a tournament at Dalian. So three schools are competing: um, QSI Shenyang, Changchun American International School, and Dalian American International School. So we're going to go have a tournament there. Our under fifteen basketball team and our under twelve soccer team. So they're going to go there and compete. Um, we are not. I do not think that we are of the caliber of like their facilities or like we're playing against schools that have like five, 600 students where we so have about to be the, the Cinderella team and whoop, whoop ass foot to um, ass. Um, That's what I need to hear. When you come back, I need to hear if it was foot to ass. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll tell you uh, <laughs> that we, that we scored some points in the game. <laughs> there you go. Um, but yes, otherwise I'm just really excited to take the kids on tour and give them an experience that I had as a kid. But yeah, like a tour bus with like groupies or anything. Well, a lot of parents are coming and our and our director wants us to have like a spirit day on Friday and then have like a little mini tunnel that leads out to the bus and like wish the players off because we leave at the same time the school closed. So it's really cool. It's like really cool that this whole spirit is 
is somewhat growing at at our school. It's something new that a lot of people are not used to, but it's 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 growing quite nicely. But I will tell you the ordeal of so we've now gone now we're going to another game on the 23rd of November we're going to Beijing to play a frisbee game but this time we've decided to go with an agent to book our train tickets because it wasn't very pop it wasn't a very like normal thing to do to book train tickets through the agent because in China tickets open I think 12 to 15 days before so <clears throat> we had to wait until last week Monday so not this Monday last week Monday we went to the train station a colleague of mine um she's she's an incredible chinese lady that does a lot of work for me when it comes to like sports events so we went to the train station to get 23 tickets now it gets a bit of a challenging thing when um you got to put in international passport numbers and load it all up and names and everything like that but so we got there at half past 3 and to get the tickets to start there and we and we go to the group counter because there's two windows two ladies one individual one group she starts yeah. doing the booking we say can we change the time because th we didn't know that there was an earlier time she says okay but then she was like two or three tickets in and she got upset with us she was like oh and she looked and she's like how many in total so the obviously like the chinese teacher the chinese colleague is obviously translating for me and all of a sudden, it turns four o'clock. Now, mind you, it took half an hour to eventually get all this information in. And she started two names. And she left for dinner. It's her dinner time. The, Chi gone. the she, Chinese lady Chinese that was lady in the booth. stood up and left. Didn't even say nothing. She just got up and walked out. <clears throat> got up and left. She says, in my dinner time. And went. The other lady was not busy. So she then starts on another batch of kids. She gets about okay. eight done. Then she sees a line building behind us. Now, obviously, we in the individual line because the group person's gone, but the individual person is there. So then she stops us and says, can you move to the side? I want to help all these individuals. So we're like, and then I, I, I can reason with that. So now it gets to half past four. We have eight tickets booked one way. We need 23 tickets booked one way, 23 tickets booked this way. So you, so, need, so you need 46 tickets and you only eight in yeah so <laughs> after about 15 minutes of dealing with this of just sitting there she's like no i can't help you and we're like but no one's here no i can't help you so obviously now my colleague is taking pictures and calling like the customer care service yeah, yeah they will snitch on they will snitch on you in china Bru <laughs> half past five this lady comes back, the group lady. This lady had an hour and a half for dinner. She then proceeds to continue our booking. Man, mm -hmm. I left that train station at quarter to seven that night. Bro, like seriously. And I'm not lying. If people want to say Africa is bad, that, that was bad. That was shocking. Yeah. They, and I, I, oh, that's cute. <laughs> I don't know who's doing it, but there's a, sorry to cut you off. I think it's the house behind me. There's a bunch of balloons all in, not balloons, a bunch of uh, bubbles all in the air. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's the the guy, sorry, the guy that's across or right here. I think they got a little kid. I hear some machine that's pumping bubbles everywhere. But um, but yeah, um, no, yeah, in China, <clears throat> especially if you are a foreigner and- Well, or a Chinese person with a foreigner. A Chinese person with a foreigner, they take their time. Man. They take their time. They are not don't <clears throat> don't unless you already got stuff booked and you already got your tickets and stuff, don't get their last minute expecting them to rush or anything for you. Yeah. So they will take their time. They will at least for me, they <laughs> will look at me sideways, up and down, ask the manager to look at this. Like I've it's been a few times where I'm like I don't know if they're trying to check if I'm like a criminal or not, <laughs> but on the flip side of, I'm like, if I was a criminal, I stick out in this whole area and I'm, I'm sure not even some like, authority was already alerted. Yeah. I'm not even trying to hide. Like, this is not a sneaky thing I'm doing. Then the only black guy in this whole line, if you said, Hey, somebody brought a bomb. They said, who was it? They said the black guy, I 
bet you they'll find me just like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's I get I get I know what you mean though. It's <clears throat> they they yeah, take their time. <clears throat> it was it was very frustrating. And then and then we were like talking and then Obviously, the Chinese colleague drops me off at home. But on the way, she was like, yeah, so this agent can do 20 RMB per ticket. And when you calculate, how we I normally like for budget purposes, I charge all the students the same price ticket. But some of our students are younger and they get half price. So I was like, that 20 RMB, we do it. Go. I will pay the 20 RMB extra for an agent to do it and secure my booking. And me mm-hmm. not wasting my life at the train station trying to figure out mm-hmm. 20 something yeah. train tickets there and back. Yeah. So <clears throat> that was our little ordeal at the train station. When I say little ordeal, long ass thing. And they were like, yeah, it's important that we take our lunch. That's what they said to our my Chinese. Said. I was like, if I, said, if I could speak Chinese right now, my day is over. I'm finished, yeah. motherfucker. I'm finished. <laughs> and here I am doing my job. And you tell me that your lunch is important to me. I'm sorry, you got the late shift. Frick six. Yo. When was I it? Was when was this? Last week, Monday. Oh, last week, Monday. Oh. Yeah, we didn't record last week. We didn't record this Sunday. Yeah. So, yeah, it was. Um, I was like, what on earth is going on? But yes, like I was like, bro, Africa is just as, just as um, reliable when it comes to people working behind desks. I was like, damn, bro. I mean, like when things work, yeah, things work really well here. But when they want to take their time, they will take their time. Mm-hmm. But I hear you have a story, Nick. Nick, Nick has a story where he's he's inner teacher Nick appeared. <clears throat> teacher Nick is back, and I, and I'm looking forward to the story about how Teacher Nick made a small return on a bus. Am I right? So. Uh, okay, so I didn't make a small return on the bus. I didn't. Uh, okay, so I, I ride the <laughs> bus to work, right? I ride the bus to work. Um, I, ride, I ride the bus uh, to work from work, whatever. Uh, and the bus is cool. I just, I will say it's, I hate riding the bus to my job. It's cool, but you hate riding the bus. But it's cool, but you hate I hate riding it because... It's long, but it would be the same time as if I rode a train or drove. Okay. So, because traffic, then you have to go through the tunnel, which pisses me off about the UK. It's a fucking river, and you gotta go from one side to the other side. And I get toll bridges and toll tunnels, but at least put one or two fucking free options. This country, and I'm pretty sure the US is the same way. If they can find a way to make a coin off of you, if they can find a way to shoot a hole in your pocket, by God, they will do it. Oh, they are great at that. I will tell you, these these countries, these capitalist countries, boy, they are amazing at making you pay for some bullshit. Anyways, uh, so so so, so, uh, so what happened? Just tell me what happened on the bus. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm getting anyways, this long ass story about how you hate the bus. What happened on the bus? Okay. So, anyways, I'm on the bus coming back, and uh, the bus stop that I get on coming back, in bo- both ways, my stop is always empty. Like, it'll be a bunch of us get on at the same time, but the bus is always empty. So, when I got on, I'm coming back from work yesterday. I got on at my bus stop. There was nobody on the bus. There <clears throat> was like 15 of us that got on the bus. Everybody get their own seats, whatever, whatever, whatever. But we know the next stop. It's about to be about 40, 50 people get on this bitch. It always is because it's right in Liverpool 1, like right in the thick of it. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I get on the bus, get my seat. I'm chilling. And I'm like, let me put my backpack between my legs. I know somebody's going to sit with me. It is what it is. And which side note, only people who ever sit with me is people of color or Asians. White people never sit next to me, which I'm cool with. I just noticed it. Uh, but anyways, so I'm sitting there and this group of, I won't even call them chavs. They like, I don't know, it's like three of them. I couldn't tell what their sex were. I don't know if they were girls or guys. But like a group of like maybe like seven of them. But they were like uh, grunge. 
I don't know. They don't like black jackets and the big buckles. And one of the girls was like sagging, but had like boxers on and camo pants and all these chains. And shit. I don't know. I don't know the correct terminology. Now I would assume like punk or grunge or something <laughs> like that of that, of that flavor. But uh, <laughs> like, like, you know, this is I a one on one on how not to be disrespectful, <laughs> but be disrespectful to someone. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is one of those because you know, Lucy used to be uh, goth emo for like a quick okay. phase back in the day. She said, maybe like a year and a half, she was. I've seen some pictures, and my stereotype is people who are of that uh, faith. Uh, I think they all stink. I think that they don't bathe. I think it's part of the culture. It's like you can't bathe every day. So when I see people like them, like I bet you some dirty draws on in one of them. But anyway, so these kids came and they came on the bus. I'm like, oh, I already know it's about to be some bullshit. Because <laughs> everybody's, everybody's getting off work. So everybody's like got on headphones or reading a book. Everybody's like quiet, ready to go home. Yeah. And, you know, especially especially now with the um, – with the season, like, it gets dark early. So I get off at 5. It was already dark at 5. Yeah. So people are ready to just, just go home. No, yes. everyone's just chilling, quiet. Get on the bus, sit down, put your headphones on, get off. That's it. These motherfuckers come on yapping and yelling. And I'm like, oh. so <laughs> I'm sitting there. And this one girl, I'm assuming it's a girl. So all the sexes I'm going to say, they're very loose. I'm not sure what they were. But I'm assuming it was a young lady. And she sat down next to me and I'm like, cool. And I'm just sitting there. And then this boy comes on and like plops on her lap, but like pushes me in my shoulder. And I'm, cause I'm sitting on the inside. So I'm like, he pushes me, my, not like pushes me, but like he, they're laughing, they're giggling. So he like pops on her lap, kind of like flops over, hits me in my shoulder. I let it slide. I didn't say nothing. I was like, you know, they kids, they're having a good time. I try to look at it as I was a kid one day. I was probably doing some goofy shit like this that annoyed somebody. I let it go. Bus takes off. They loud, they loud. But I got on headphones. I'm I'm not listening. They loud, they loud, they laughing, they giggling. He pushes me again in my shoulder. I'm like, all right. In my book, that was strike two. Okay. I didn't say nothing, but I'm like, if this little motherfucker pushes me one more time. <laughs> I'm taking these headphones off and I'm going to say something like I'm, I'm going to say something on this bus. We get in the, in the tunnel and in the tunnel, there's no service on your phone. So unless you already got like music playing or something like that, all your stuff is going to stop. It's just no, there's no, like yeah. no good cell service. You, you under a river. So obviously there's no self service. Um, so we in the tunnel, I'm I still got music playing. I'm chilling. One of the girls yells out, I ain't got no, I, I don't have any fucking service. I don't have, any, this is bullshit. Like starts, and I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, bitch, you from here. Did, did you not think there was like, are you, surely you've been in this tunnel before. Surely. I've only been there a year and some change. And I've been there thousands of times. So surely you've been there before. So she's like flipping out that she ain't got no service. The dude sitting on the girl's lap, he's talking, he's talking. And he bumps my shoulder again. So I take my headphone out. And I said, yo, my guy. So <laughs> yo, my guy. <laughs> I was like, yo. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I said, I said, I said, look, I don't, I said, y'all can do y'all. I said, look, I can do y'all thing or whatever, but you bumped me three times and it ain't a lot of space in this seat. So I'm going to need you to find another seat or you got to chill out and bump me. Uh, I, I, said, I said something like you got to chill out and stop bumping me because you're pissing me off. Oh, so they kind of like Ooh. looked at me, like the whole group, all the whole group of them kind of just like shut up and they kind of like looked at me and I was looking back at them. I put my headphones on. I just like looked back at my phone. But so, but I was like, cause then at this point I'm ready for the bullshit. So I put my headphones back in, but I cut my music off. Oh, so you can hear. Oh, sneaky. So I, I, so I want to hear what they're going to say. So one of the look the 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 bigger girl of the crew, she was like, she said something like, "He's got a bad attitude" or something like that. He got a bad attitude. So I just I, I didn't even look I didn't even look up and I said 
I don't have a bad attitude, but if you really want to go there, I can have a bad attitude on this bus. Oh. So then they got quiet again. And then the, uh, she, I forget. She says something, the boy sitting on the lap of the girl, he says something, I forgot what he said. He says something else. And I just took my headphones out and I just said, matter of fact, y'all can just move. Cause at this point, there was a few other seats that were like open, not like free seat, not like there was nobody, but there might be like one person in it where you don't have to sit on somebody's lap. You can move to another seat. So I was just like, I just got to the point. I was like, you know, I was like, matter of fact, I said, bro, you can just move. I said, there's other seats over here. You can just move. You ain't got to stop bumping me. And then I said, and I said, and your big friends, <laughs> I said, and your big friend over there, she can stop talking about me too. And then, uh, so he got up and moved. And after that, it was quiet for the rest of the, the, rest of the ride. They got off in like five stops. Nobody said nothing else. Uh, that was about it. I, the, a few of the older people who like, I see all the time, kind of just like laughed and went back to reading their books. And uh, that was it. So, uh, represent, yeah. represent part of me. Millennials. Represent <laughs> millennials. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just like, Bro, like y'all, y'all, in my head, I'm like, y'all doing too much. And I tried to give them the benefit of, like, if they, what, really, it's because they kept bumping me. If they weren't bumping me and they were just talking loud and being kids, I could have cared less. Live your life. As long as you ain't messing with me, I don't care. They could, they could be screaming bloody yeah. murder or having fun. I wouldn't care. Yeah. But just don't touch me. Stop touching me. <laughs> and I'm like, I, and I, I, I let the first two slide. Yeah, you gave I'm him like, a warning as well. Yeah, I'm just like, and I get, and I said something like, "Bro, chill out." So, yeah. yeah. So I didn't really put nobody in a place. I just made it known that if if it was still good though, if, you still silent. <laughs> the the fact that like, you were like, you know what, you took it, you like, you know what, you can actually move. <laughs> that was a, that's what did it for me. You know what? That's exactly what a millennial would do. You're like, now nah, I'm not letting this go. I'm taking it off. And they're like, you know what? You do move. Move. And the fact is, he moved. And everyone went, whoop. Like the good school children they are. Yeah, I was just like, bro. Yeah, it was just pissing me off. I was just like, nigga, I just got off work, bro. I'm tired, bro. Bro, I don't know what you've been doing all day. Like, do this on a Saturday, man. Not now. Not now. No. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was it. I I didn't really, nothing really ticked (laughs) off. It was, was like, bro, it was teaching Nick. It was teaching Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did. I, I had to put. Some, I, I had teacher. to put some bass in my voice, and I ain't put no bass yeah. in my voice in a while. So I had to put some so. bass in my voice. <laughs> and just let them know, like, y'all, 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 y'all fucking yeah. around, bro. And I'd hate. <laughs> I would hate. And it's, and I think what made them really my... keep quiet was is that American accent. They were like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> I don't know where he's been. I don't know who he is. I don't know which part of America he's from, but I ain't testing this water. Yeah, yeah. I was just be like, I'm just like, yeah, bro, like, it was just, it was just pissing me off. And I, was, in my head, I'm like, I, I really don't want y'all to ruin my day, because yeah. if you ruin my day, by law, I have to ruin your day. <laughs> You're coming down with me. <laughs> so now, now we all got to be upset, and I'm. It, Y'all don't want to go down this road because I'm petty. Because you're going to be more upset than me. <laughs> you're going to be more upset than me because I'm petty. So, <laughs> so please, let's just, just, young man, just move and we can just nip all this in the bud. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh-wee. But no, yeah, it was just, it was, as soon as I seen them get on the bus, because when I, when I go to work, like the stop or two, no, the next stop after mine, it's like five of them, not the same group, but five grunge, punk, religious people. I don't know what you would call them, man. Is it a, is it a culture? I think it's a culture. I'm going to ask Lucy. They, they're her people. But, uh, <laughs> I'm pointing <laughs> to this. Yo, bro, but, you, uh, built, you put fire where there was no fire, and now uh, you just put gasoline over it. You're like, ah, let's just put more oil to this fire. Let's see how. I know, I know, I know. She listens to this, but I think she's like maybe five or six episodes back. So we'll probably argue about this in like January or something. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, but yeah, man, yeah. It just when I see him get on the bus. Because when I go to work, uh, the days that I go into the office, when I go, 
and I see it's like five of them get on the bus, but it's mostly like girls, and like they be loud and stuff, but they they mind yeah. their own business. They sit, they sit at the very front or the very back, and they just mind their own business. They laugh and talk and giggle amongst themselves. That's what up. It's all cool. It's just when they got on that day, and the bus was already packed, and I seen it because I sit at the top. The bus is already packed, and I see all six, seven, eight of them come on loud and. I was like, uh, like not now. I, was, I just knew, was like, y'all finna piss me off. And I hate to be that guy, but y'all gonna make me be that guy. <laughs> so, oh. but all's well that ends well. Uh, Indeed. Other than that, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, uh, you know, my card collection that I've yes. been. So I've started getting into like selling cards, flipping cards, whatever. Just going to say, and I don't know how much it's worth now, but it's going to be worth a fair, fair bit. I entered a uh, a bid on eBay or a drawing mm-hmm. and to win a card. Now, I did not think I was going to win. By all means, uh-huh. didn't think I was going to win it. Nice. But it was coming from uh, from the U.S. And I don't, obviously, when I be on like eBay and I'm looking at cards and stuff, because I only look at cards that I'm going to sell at some point. And I'm looking at this particular card, but it was in the U.S. And But when I get them from the U.S., I don't pay for them to be shipped to the U.K. Because it, it, it added like 30 more dollars for international shipping or some bullshit. So I get them all sent to my mom's house. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going home for the, at the end of the month for a week. Yeah. So I'll get them then. And then my mom was also coming here for Christmas. So if it's anything else, she'll just bring them. Cool. Nice. Uh, but so I was like, okay, but the times that I was bidding, it was like late night in the U S or something like that. So people don't really be on eBay at this time, which is perfect for the UK, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I looked up in for, I think it was eight pounds. I bought a professionally graded. So a mint condition, uh, one of one, the only one in the world gold jeremy doku rookie card and rookie card from andelect or man city uh man city man city okay yeah, yeah. so it's like a they gave it like a rookie premier league card or whatever I thought, Whoa. no it's not it's a rookie um andelect uh no 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 um international team belgium uh belgium rookie belgium card yeah so like his debut rookie card one of one in the world so just saying if he continues to play how he's been playing it'll be worth 20 pounds no no right now (laughs) i got i got it for eight pounds right now it'll go for 150 but if he continues i'm looking at about three four hundred pounds i'm just saying it's not a lot but hey that's I'm going in the right path i'm flipping eight to 350 hey those those are those are drug dealer numbers for me so <laughs> fair I enough. Flip one into two, <clears throat> I've got I've doing got some right. I know you say you don't do Pokemon cards, but we found a supplier in in in, 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 in China and oh no, we couldn't get to that that Pokemon place wasn't ready. But they had the Halloween Pokemon cards. Ooh. Yeah, Halloween, but like from two, from like three different, three different years, 2022, 2023, 2024. And I got a Gengar Halloween Ooh. from 2022. Nice. And I got, it should be somewhere here, a Gengar from the 2023 pack. Yeah, that's cool. That's fresh. Like that. I got the Pikachu. Bro. I don't know how much these are. I'm just keeping them nice because you never they know. Were, you never know, yeah. You never know. I'm currently getting some comic books that my my dad used uh-huh. to have as a kid. I just got them graded. I don't know how much they're going to be worth though. The, but, it's like a Simpsons one and a and a Luke Cage one. I know I do have these ones. These are kind of like somewhat different. This is a Korean one. Jafari, Jafari. Yeah, but like a like Korea has their own artwork. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of the countries uh, do their own stuff. Japan Japan has a lot Japan of crazy does, stuff, yeah. too. So when I go to Japan, um, I'll be like, that will be something I look for. Bro, I watched a video of, what's it called? 
you know, as a kid, when we were younger, random topic, uh, we used to collect Pokemon cards. Yeah. Right. You, you open the, the booster packs. So I used to, we used to go to, I used to go to Meyer. Uh, I don't know if I told, told you the story, but I got caught stealing. Yes. My yes, mom. You have told me. Yeah, yeah. And my mom beat the shit. My mom slapped yeah. the shit out of me. Uh, cause the lady at the store fucking snitched bitch. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, we just got like the little booster packs and all that stuff. She was doing her job, so. <laughs> but, uh, but um, we used to collect these cards. But like you know, we never really. And I don't know about you. Hmm. When I was a kid, when we collected them, we traded them and whatnot. We, I, mean, you know, take I had them a to folder school. that I used to put in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I had, like I had a binder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you ever like play? Like we yes, never played. You know. I did. Uh, I did play with the energy cards and the trainer cards. Yes, I did play. See, now I would always toss my energy cards. Yeah, so I did play, and then I for a while when I was older, I played online on the computer. But you don't have any money. There's no money to it. You just enter online, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you choose your pack which you want. There's like specific packs <clears throat> because yeah. you build packs. You build like people that yeah. you need because you need to evolve and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did the same thing. I played online, but like in person, I didn't play. And then when Yu-Gi-Oh came out, uh, when Yu-Gi-Oh came out, I was collecting Yu-Gi-Oh heavily and I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I went to like a little, not like big tournament, but like little local tournaments and stuff as a kid, probably like middle school. And I had like little (laughs) Yu-Gi-Oh decks. I had like several decks that I made and was playing. Cause you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, you don't need the energy. That's the whole thing I hate about Pokemon. You need those little energy cards. Yu-Gi-Oh, you didn't yeah. need the energy. You just played or whatever you played with. Of course, I had all the games. I was a big fan of all the um, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh the games, yeah. the series, et cetera, et cetera. The new one, I'm not a fan of, but uh, but yeah. So anyways, I've been, you know, collecting these card stuff. And it's actually, it's a, it's a hobby that I really do enjoy. Lucy is like, she liked that I'm like really finding joy in this hobby. It's cool. I like researching hmm. because and it's, it's very sports related and I'm a big sports guy. So I'm looking up stats and this, that, and the third. But anyways, I tried to say, hey, let me go back and let me see if I can play Yu-Gi-Oh again. Like, let me go back and just look at some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Just, it's just a random topic. Let me just go back and look at some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, see if I can they get back are. into playing it. Bruh. They're expensive. Ooh. One, expensive. <laughs> Two, man, it's so just like the Pokemon. You know, we was used to the the one fifty, yeah, maybe the extra like one fifty one. One fifty one. Don't forget well, me. And then, and then, <laughs> but you know, maybe when they started the little the next region after that, I was still cool. With. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaito. So <clears> the thing was Kaito. Yeah, yeah. with Crocodile yeah. and Cyndaquil. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were cool. So they them, cool. I was still cool with. Yeah, but man, I was I was like, we let me go look at you. Yeah. Bro, these cards are so in depth now. I I I looked at one card online, and I'm used to like you know you look at a card and it say like two lines of text of what it does, what it can do. These fucking cards now they got paragraphs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like one, it's a card, so the paragraphs are even smaller. And I'm looking at this paragraph, and I'm like, nah. Nah, next. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making no deck after this. I remember once when I was at home, I was looking at board games. <clears throat> Me and my boy Trent, we went to a board game shop in Louisville. This is uh, before I came to the UK. And uh, we went to a board game shop. And there's some cool board. I think we bought like some board game or whatever. But there's some cool board games. And um, we went to, while we were there, which we didn't know, they were having a magic the gathering tournament and a Mm -hmm. pokemon tournament magic the gathering i never got into don't i've seen the cards i never got into it but they were having a pokemon tournament uh in the yugi in the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament so of course it was all these guys had their own stuff but they had these big boxes of just random cards where they were allowing people to go and just make your own deck right there and then enter it and play i doubt you can keep the cards but make your own deck you can play. And my boy Trent was like, do you want to just, he's like, how about we just make a deck real quick and just hop in and just see how we can do. 
<clears throat> and we went over to go look at some some kids playing, and I was looking to see what they was doing, and I was like, bro, first of all, we, they we said they seconds. said they first of all they said new words that I have never heard in this game before. So it's gonna be a lot of me saying, "What's that? What's that mean? What's that? <laughs> Wait, asking that he can do and that, gonna get, can and, do that? and they're gonna get irritated <laughs> with you. And be like, this old guy, go away. We don't need you, old yeah. guy, go away." And I was like, and it was like ten dollars to enter. And I was like, "Bro, I'm not finna spend ten dollars when I know I'm about to get my ass whooped." So I was like, "Nah." I think I've told you the story of the uh, the Mario Kart tournament. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we. Into the, no, 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 not Mario Kart. It was a uh, Smash Brothers. Yes, I know. You, 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 you mentioned that you entered the competition. Yeah, we, uh, we were inebriated on <laughs> leafy materials, and it was like <laughs> six of us, my, and we were at my boy's house. This is well before China, and we were playing a uh, Catan. Cause we used to always go to his house, drink smoke and play Catan. That was just like our thing. And think you good music. at it. I'm good at Catan. Don't 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 come for me. I'm good at Catan. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we were like one of my boy, he was like he was on Facebook and it was a random pop up about a Super Smash Brothers tournament. It was like down the road from us. So he was like, "Man, let's go do this Super Smash Bros." First of all, we don't have Smash Bros. I know how to play it as in the gist. But I don't know all the moves and all this stuff. <laughs> we was like, yeah, man, it sounds like a good idea, blah, 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 blah. So we get our stuff. Ah, and we go I over remember to you the, told me this. And then you we all, go to you, the tournament. You, you, you high, you high, you all, you all these like adults high and you walk into these kids. <laughs> <laughs> yes. we, we, go, we go in there and outside of parents, I think the oldest other player might be like 15. <laughs> so you got these six grown men walking in <laughs> mind you we smoked on the way there and we smoked one outside yeah so yeah. i know you can just smell us loud <laughs> like we are you can smell us a mile away you knew what it was <laughs> and we go in there we was like we sign up <laughs> so all these kids in here we high <laughs> high. i think the youngest person might have been me i was probably like 26 or 27 at the time <laughs> <laughs> this, is worse, this is worse than the frisbee thing I've done to you guys. This is all yeah. the worst. So this we worse. we high, we drunk, and then they draw names, and they go take us to this room. And this room had all these computer, all these screens set up, like small TV screens set up around the room with like a, a system and two controllers on each one, so everybody can play. But in the front of the room, they had like a system, controllers, and a big screen. Like a big old <laughs> wall size screen, and there was chairs in the middle, so you could sit in chairs. You can watch the big screen, watch people play on the small screens, and they drew names of who's going to play who in this tournament. And my name got drew to play some kid on the big screen, and I was like, ah, shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> that, kid, that kid was doing this all that he was just like, mm -hmm. this. He was looking at you like, you have no idea what you're doing, but bye bye. <laughs> Man. But we was all like, you know what? Beep, beep, we was like, we paid our money. <laughs> we, like, we paid our money. We gonna play, man. That put me on that big screen. My boys weren't even playing it. They would just sit back there and watch it. This kid, boy, it was disrespectful what he was doing to me on this screen. <laughs> At one point, they were like, "You got a double jump." I was like, "I didn't even know I could double jump. I was just press a regular jump." I didn't know there was a double jump. I'm falling off the cliff. <laughs> just <laughs> beat the shit out of me. I was like, yo. It was very it's, humbling experience. When when you see those Instagram memes where like kids are better at shoot games, they are better at shoot games. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there, is, yeah, yeah. there are some just... there are just some things where they like like when it comes to video stuff, just let them be. Let them have it. It's okay. It's, it's their time. Yeah. We we it just, just do it terrible. For fun. It was just terrible. So no, nah, yeah, I was looking at him and I was like, "Nah, bro, I can't, I can't do this." Um, you have dad yeah. jokes. I so I don't have a dad joke because I woke up this morning and I saw what happened in the U.S. And... Okay, I have two. Okay. Hope, okay. Hopefully, it will lighten up the mood a bit. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> All right. So what do you call a bee from America? Bee from America? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't tell me. An Ameribee? A USB. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do... Re- okay. what? <laughs> what do religious rabbits do before they eat? Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me rephrase that. What do religious rabbits say before they eat? What do religious rabbits say before they eat? They're uh, the carrot prayer, a hot prayer. Let us pray. Let us. Uh, why isn't there a pregnant Barbie doll? Because Ken was in the other box. All right. So, all right. So, that is the end <laughs> of episode 35. But I'm just... <laughs> That is the end of episode 35. (laughs) (laughs) Thought I was doing something with that one. (laughs) I read it. I'm so sorry. (laughs) I was like, I've heard that one way too many times. (laughs) It was in the other box. I do uh, have to go walk my dog and go on lunch. No one's looking for me, so. <laughs> on the real yeah. lunch now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Anything else, man, you got before we wrap this up? Nah, all good. <laughs> <laughs> this is episode 35. Big Belly Pats, man. Peace. We out. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I didn't.